Right, and here we are. Day 20. Wow. Big stretch. Um, yeah, gonna have some breakfast and pack up my stuff. It's at half seven. Once we see, be about half eight ish. Um, going to Stratford, go to the gym, and I go on the way home. Meet uh, an old mate of mine, Christian. Um, I think he was like Banbury, Danbury, one of the two. Um, and yeah, I haven't seen him for, for a few months, that'd be quite cool. We reached out yesterday, um, home from, and then yeah, be home, I reckon, by about three, maybe four o'clock, depending on the traffic. Yeah, it can't be as bad as the M6, surely. Um, but yeah. yeah, what a trip. It's been awesome. One thing I have realised the last couple of days, though, is the state of the tent. I don't know if you can see all the black dots. It's kind of, I think it's like mildew or something. Definitely needs a good clean. Um, probably not completely healthy to uh, sleep in it still. But hey ho. Um, and I say the thing I'm most looking forward to dry trainers. My feet have been wet for like a week. Uh, but yeah, yeah, it's been awesome. Catching a bit. So far, it's an absolutely glorious day. Not exactly warm yet, but it's still early. Roof's down already. Makes it easier to load the car, to be honest. Um, washed everything I needed to. Had breakfast. So I collapsed the tent for the last time. And off we pop. Right, here we are, Stratford upon Avon, Anytime Fitness, my seventh one. Um, other than Canvey, obviously, and uh, yeah, I'll reach up with that. Um, and let's, let's go get a sweat on. Right, it's been a productive morning. Um, went to the gym, pretty decent. Am I anytime fitness are great gyms? I think the thing that sets them apart normally is the customer service, and this one they just didn't know, barely even acknowledge your existence in there, uh, which is a shame. Um, but yeah, cool, nice. Um, slept awkwardly last night though, so I couldn't really go as hard as I wanted. My neck's killing me. Um, and then left there, just come to uh, Banbury, met with Christian, amazing. Haven't seen him for a, for a while. Uh, quite of his family, beautiful house, uh, great family, so it was cool. Um, and now um, heading off. Uh, came down the M40 from um, Stratford to here. Um, and the M6 needs to be more like the M40. That was such an easier ride. Uh, but I've just been toying with the idea of avoiding the M25. Uh, and looking at it, it's gonna take about three and a quarter hours uh, if I do that, or take the risk and go on the M25 and it'll be two and a quarter hours. So, um, I think I'm gonna do the M25. But that's it then, uh, then I get home. So in a couple of hours, I'll be back home uh, and it's sort of like one o'clock in the afternoon. So yeah, happy days. Probably watch the Community Shield or something and, uh, and catch up with the fam. Thanks for watching everybody. It's been amazing. It's been great having you with, this, with me on this journey. Um, and much love and respect to everybody. And this is it, ladies and gentlemen. Big journey. The car's been phenomenal. The roads have been incredible, except for the M6. M6 can do one. And here we are, safe at home. 2,393.8 miles. Boom. Just had a little nap while we're tired. 
uh, I'm gonna have some family time, get a takeaway, chill. Uh, but I wanted to say thank you to everybody with their kind messages and uh, comments and liking my posts and uh, reassurance. So yeah, I really appreciate it. It meant a lot. It really felt like everyone was there with me uh, on what was a, an amazing trip. So um, yeah, glad that some of you really uh, enjoyed what I was able to share. Um, hopefully the editing and the filming and photography got better uh, as the trip went on. Um, annoyingly, it was the, I think the better that got, the the less kind of driving we saw. But um, that's how it was, and yeah, it was amazing. Uh, absolutely loved every second of it, and uh, glad to be home. Cheers again.